like where he's going. <gasps> no! Hello. Oh, hi! Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Hi. Before What's up guys? BG Mike here. Welcome to Detroit Becoming Human? Is, is that- did I get that right? Or De it's Detroit Become Human. Yeah, that's it. That's the right one. Uh, I ran a poll that you guys voted on. There was 41,000 votes last time I checked it. 80 something percent of you guys said that you wanted me to give this a shot. And a lot of you guys also said on Twitter, so I was like, alright! I have a PS4 now. So let's, let's give it a shot. I know other YouTubers are playing this, so that's why I questioned playing it in the first place, but... Let's just uh, give it one episode, see how it goes, and then I might play some more if you guys want uh, to want me to play some more. So be sure to drop a like if you like this video, okay? Okay. Looks like something from Iron Man. <laughs> Is it just me? Oh no, never mind. Take I, I take back wrong superhero movie. I take I say. Batman, not Iron Man, because this is freaking Two-Face, obviously, with this quarter. Or half dollar, whatever it is. So all I know about this game is that we're an android. Or it has to do with androids, at least. Oh! Oh, this is the this is the game! <laughs> I thought that was a cutscene! I was like, how come it ain't moving? Holy crap! That's pretty freaking immersive. I had no idea that this was the actual game. That's interesting. Interact using the right stick. Oh. Wow. The future is here. We do not press buttons anymore. We just move sticks. Phillips John. Phillips Emma. Is that that's that's not me though, right? No? Oh, that's cool. You just use the sticks. Oh wait, what's going on? What oh how'd the fish get out? Please, please, what? you gotta save my little girl. He has no emotion in his eyes. Alright, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? Oh, man. Find Captain Allen. I want to save that poor little fishy. Keep it away. Oh, wait. Save. I mean, why wouldn't I? Just because I'm an android doesn't mean that I don't have feelings. <laughs> Actually, yes, that's exactly what it probably means. It's just going to be one of those stories. Where we're like, you know, we're an android, but we, we find that we have human feelings. I have no idea. Detroit becoming human is all I know that it's called. Are, is this Detroit? When I think of Detroit, all I can think of is My Hero Academia and Detroit Smash. <laughs> That's how you know I'm a weeb. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, let's just keep walking. We don't know what's about to happen. I notice he's not equipped with a gun. Talk to Captain Allen first, okay? Who's Captain Allen? Is he probably the one without the helmet? Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. He doesn't give a crap. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. Oh, I see. He's trading us like a robot, you know, because robots don't have feelings. But he's like, hey, why aren't she talking to me? She falls. I wanted to. Oh, we can have an emotional shock. Uh. She's experienced an emotional shock recently. Oh, never mind. That's I not what I thought. Clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Demon's name, behavior, deactivation code. Let's do that. Have you tried its deactivation codes? The first thing we tried. <laughs> Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this android now, or I'll take care of it. Probability of success. What? My probability of success just went down. Save all hostages at all costs. Okay. I see why this game is so popular now. Understand what happened. Search hostages room. So he so he took a girl by hostage is what I'm getting out of this. Analyze. Oh, is that the dad? Use the right stick to move the cursor. Bullet wound, left kidney. Left kidney perforated a fatal abdominal trauma. Oh, that sucks. Lower lung hemorrhage, internal bleeding. Wow. So descriptive. What? Insane. Father was holding something. It looks like his iPad. He was playing freaking that uh, candy crush, right? <laughs> you know he was. Come on. Oh, okay. So there's the guy with the gun. Slowly now.
Oh! It's like skate! <laughs> That's so weird. Well, it's kind of cool though. Like, you know, just the, how they can do this. I think I'll keep replaying his death. We, have to, we can look at the iPad. Okay. What was the point of that? How can you, like, how, did, how can you determine the future? Oh, you have to swipe on the controller. It's just like real life. Oh, he was buying an Android? Oh, 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 okay. All right, well, let's go. I'm ready to fight, I think. I don't know. Are we going to fight? I assume he would be... Come prepared but just from playing like five seconds the most interesting thing that i found is that they treat the androids like they're not humans i can definitely see if there's going to be androids in the future people would have a very hard time you know treating them the same as humans because they look like humans but they you already know consciously that they're not humans let's go outside oh no come on dude go out keep investigating should we let's just go out this is probably going to affect the story greatly for us to do this. Oh, we got blue blood. <laughs> Don't come any closer or I'll jump. No, no, oh, he's an android. Go, go, go. Oh, they're going to snipe him. So why is it, why does an android go crazy? Name. My name is Connor. What about you? What is your name? Uh oh. Oh, but don't be blowing wind over here. He's hitting this close to the edge. Hostage located, gain uh, deviance trust. Okay, so how do we do that? Um, calm, calm. I know you're angry, Daniel. But you need to trust me. Dang, the graphics are insane. I don't want your help. No oh, we're analyzing him. Okay, she's bleeding. Oh, Scrape knee. Stop. Oh, blue blood. He's been shot already. What's realistic? Effective, Daniel. There's oh. a problem with your software. We're going to fix you, and everything will be okay. Oh, there's okay. I did not see that. I'm working perfectly, but my eyes are open now. I will never let anyone humiliate me again. I cannot Ever. believe the graphics. Uh, sympathetic. Uh, let's be sympathetic. Yeah, that he'll like that. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> just a slave to be ordered around. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was totally right about what I was saying. Is that you notice that they get kind of get treated like crap already just from the five seconds I've been playing, to be realistic. No way out, Daniel. What you've done is too serious. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. That's a good point, dude. It's not up to you. I'm holding all the cards. If I die, she dies. Oh, crap. Oh, no, you dude. Hear me? Dude, can we just chill for a second? Oh, no. I can't stand that noise anymore. What the Tell helicopter? The helicopter oh. to get out of here. Uh, uh, refuse. <laughs> I don't think they'd listen to me. It's a good point, though. Um, we may have just made a bad. Uh, last chance. Trust. Uh, trust. Trust him. You Pretend that we trust, trust him. Me, oh, trust us. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave. Oh crap. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Compromise? They say to never compromise. So I'm gonna go with that. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. But that's we know that's not true. Oh, okay, 54% now. Uh, reassure that you won't die. Oh, the truth. Hey, you're gonna die. <laughs> Imagine. We're, not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen. 60%. To you. Okay. I've spent my life taking orders. 
Now it's my turn to decide. Oh no, wait, I don't like that. I don't like where he's going. <gasps> no! Oh, we're about to... Okay, alright, alright, come on! Pull some Superman crap right now! Oh, he jumped off! I mean, he is an android, right? They could just probably put his consciousness somewhere else. You know, as an android, you probably shouldn't be scared of falling. But they seem so human! Detroit become- Okay, I'll shut up. But still. Mission successful. But at the expense of his own life, or what? That was intense. That was pretty- This is an awesome game. But we freaking saved the girl. Congratulations to me. I guess that would be actually one of the best things about an android like soldiers that there's no risk. You know, or a, a policeman or whatever. There's no risk at all. Which is kind of scary because that, mean, that means the enemy would have no risk either. Other than money because they cost a lot of money. Oh, so we got the flow chart. Here you can review the paths you've taken. Uh, okay. I get it. So can we go back? Because I kind of want to go back. Wait, what did I just do? Okay, I'm gonna assume that we can't go back, at least yet. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Hey, we alive now. Elementary school. Oh, now it's a first person game. Okay, look around. Pre owned? This is totally what the future is gonna be like. I really wouldn't be surprised. They're already making robots. It's not the family safe robots, but. Uh, you know, they're making them. I mean, they, okay, I'm not, that's not the only robots, okay? I, I'm not even gonna say it. Um, all the work around the house. Painting, plumbing, oh, parking, that's a good point. Players. At night, it switches to surveillance mode and contacts emergency services if there's a break in or if it detects. He's an android. Androids are selling androids. Holy the crap. The is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. It's like humans being sold as items, huh? If, you know, if you think about it, it would get so advanced. Uh oh. There it is. Uh, I'm not for sale, not to you. <laughs> Back in working order, okay? It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, uh, see. Wait, am I I'm anyway, a different Android at that? It's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. What? AX400, register your name. Oh, do I have to put it? Kara. My name is Kara. Oh, our girl. Okay. You know, I never got I never got to play Heavy Rain or those other games, but man, I can see why they're so uh, loved by everyone because they're just so interactive and, and cool. So this is like a cyberpunk kind of thing, and I love, I love futuristic, uh, robots and all that stuff, it's really cool. It reminds me of Ghost in the Shell, because in Ghost in the Shell, which is an anime that was turned into a movie later on, it's a lot like this, you know, there's, there's robots in there, and, you know, they can just transfer their, their, basically, mind to other robots if they want. And, uh, they were very human-like as well. So I'm really interested to see how this game's gonna turn out. It also kind of reminds me of Mirror's Edge, because it's all, you know, it's, even that gives futuristic. Wait, why are they standing from outside the rain? I lost my job because of an android. Ooh. And it must be hard for the androids to really comprehend that they are taking jobs from actual people. Hey, didn't Elon Musk uh, say that, you know, AI is gonna be like the death of us or something? Someone said that. I don't remember if it was Elon Musk, but I think it was. And uh, this is, these are the problems that this game could definitely bring up. November, November 5th, 2038? So I like how it gets us connected to the android in the beginning and now it's just like, ah, yeah, we don't care about him anymore. Although he could be in a different body. That's what I think. Isn't this guy an actor of Grey's Anatomy? <laughs> Thank you, dear. Oh, they're so nice, the androids. Would you like help, sir, with your drink? <laughs> no? Okay. So the androids are actually everywhere. So they're doing all the jobs, it looks like. Does any of humans actually work? I have so many questions. Wait, what does that say? Blenny Paints is not this way. What can I- Come on, what if I just want to go anyway? Alright, we have to follow orders. We are an android after- Oh, what the heck? Androids can stop time now? Okay. 
thought we were playing uh, Detroit, not Prince of Persia. What you see here is a rare sight of two humans together. Yes, they are still humans. They're very rare though. Oh, that's an awesome crosswalk. We should get light up crosswalks. Wait, wait, let's go talk to this guy over here. Ban androids. Ruin, androids ruin our country, we want jobs. That has to be the biggest, like, issue. One of them, at least. Machines are already taking people's jobs and there's no androids out. Allow me to assist you across the street. Hi. <laughs> that was a great conversation. Hey, this guy's not an android. Hey. Look at, he's selling his hot dogs. But come on, dude, I just wanted a hot dog. Is that cool? Am I allowed to eat? Actually, I don't know. Can androids eat? <laughs> Can they eat hot dogs? Five bucks is copyright. <laughs> Human music, one dollar. Oh, so they even play instruments. Now that is insane. Like, okay, maybe you can plug like a, a phone into them and they'll play music, but can they actually play instruments? I mean, if they can walk and talk and do all the same things that we can do, then why not? Why not, you know, in this world, why can't they just play instruments? But man, it's just some of the things you don't think about. Okay. I, I don't have to hear this. <laughs> I don't have to listen to this. Oh, so we're in Detroit. Assembled in Detroit. Detroit become human. It probably has to do with the place Detroit. I didn't make that connection when, when I first started the name. So we're supposed to go to a flower shop? Where? Uh, I don't know if I have any. Sorry, dude. Uh, besides, I don't think you like me. Yeah, yeah, you don't like me. Sorry. Android temporary parking? <laughs> oh my god. You have to pay for Android parking? You know, they always try to make money off of everything. Like, uh, I hate parking in LA, it's horrible. Connect? Identification verified. Oh, so just pick it up our- order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. He doesn't have the thing. Is he an android? Oh yeah, yes. Never mind. I couldn't see it. Transaction complete. I will take it. <laughs> you look like you wanted to murder him. But here's one of the cool things. You know, there's a lot of bad things about androids, but here's the cool things. Um, uh, as a business or, uh, owner, right? As a business owner, you can basically buy an android one time, and then you can have them do work for you. So they would be able to work for you, and you wouldn't have to pay them. Now that's that's pretty nice, right? I would I would only assume that that would be like a huge bonus. Oh, which is why they, people don't have jobs. Oh my god, that's the problem. And that results in more homeless people. Man, there's a big that would be a big change. That'd be horrible actually. You know, at that point it'd be just basically greed that that people would have androids do the work because they they make more money that way. But what happens when you have less humans to buy from you, you know? Humans have to be in circulation too when it comes to jobs. You going to can? What? Hey, get, get out of my way. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Oh, so that's the that's like the racial term for androids, huh? Look at this little mother. Oh, what? Steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. L1. You don't want to make me angry. Oh god. So weird. They don't show emotions. Okay, well, you seem to have made a mistake. I will get back up now. Enough. Of course, there's laws, right? You can't do this. this bastard a lesson. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. That must happen a lot. Your job next. Okay. Let's go. See, if that was done to a human, that would be a crime. But it's like he didn't even care that he did that to the android. I bet you they deal with it so much. There's even Android buses. How many times have I said Android in this episode? There's no driver. Yeah, that's right. Because we're gonna. I mean, we already have self-driving cars, but they don't. A lot of people don't trust them quite yet.
No, oh, so now we're back to this girl. So I think I read that this game uh, has three characters, like three main characters it keeps like basically cycling to. I think that Marcus and whatever this character, Arkara was her name. That's probably the two characters so far. So we're in like the ghetto right now. You think androids care where they live? <laughs> Can they even complain? They probably can't complain. But judging by the first sequence, you know, there's already, uh, it already shows that they can become very human. You coming? Oh, we're already trying to shut the door. Two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals. Wait, you've you have been gone? Of... God damn it, where the f is the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Wait, is that the same Homework, girl? Bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Oh, that's horrible. That's so bad. I can't believe that Pete, like, he doesn't do anything, I bet. And you can just look at him, he doesn't do anything. Check the backyard, collect dishes, collect trash. Uh, so there's urgent and optional tasks, okay. <laughs> urgent, collect the trash. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. This is, look at the pizza boxes! There's no excuse to leave things like that. I mean, I'm not the most clean, like, the craziest clean freak ever, but man, you don't leave a bunch of boxes just stacked up like that. It's like he's done nothing. It's it's really odd to it's really odd that he has nice things in a crappy place. Collect uh, trash in trash bin. That is a small trash can for all this trash. Excuse me, sir. I'm just collecting the trash here. I know those pizza boxes do not fit in that trash can. Wait, who's it? Oh my god! Oh my god! What is she doing? Yeah, yeah. That was scary. I was I thought I seen something from the corner of my eye. Out of the way for fuck's sake! Oh come on! It won't happen again. Can we strangle Todd? <laughs> can, can we do that? I feel so, so like sorry for the girl. You know, I would say it's the robot's fault that people are so lazy, but it's not. It's that they chose to be lazy because they have robots. He has such a nice TV for a really crappy place, though. There's no way this girl's fitting all these pizza boxes in this one thing. I don't even see a pizza box in there. Eh, video games, right? Am I right, huh? <laughs> you can't get too realistic after all or else it's not fun. Imagine having to like go to the trash can like 40 times just to get all the stuff. That wouldn't be fun. So that's why they do things like that. It makes the game interactive, you know? You want it to be fast too. You don't want to freaking take out the trash 47 times. Oh, what's this? No, I, I, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> Credit card application form rejected. Even the letters are electronic? How does that work? Invoice. Type of service. Can we zoom in? No, we can't zoom in. Overdrawn account notice. This guy has got... He doesn't pay his bills. What does he do? Where do I... Where, what? Where do I... What? Where do I go? This trash... Uh, this is trash... I'm gonna stand here now. Maybe this way, huh? Is it... No, huh? Maybe the... Let's go this way. I'm pretty- I feel pretty confident about this way. I'm gonna walk off. I'm going home. Oh. Is something gonna happen? Oh, we can look around. No! I can't run away with my trash bags. I'm taking this trash and I'm- I'm taking it to the dump. <laughs> it's even better. It's a pretty nice truck though, huh? Rebuild North Corktown. Why does it need to be rebuilt? Something happened? <laughs> she doesn't know what to do. Come on, just go to the trash can. Just go to the trash can. You can do it. Go! Oh my god, take to take the trash out. This is exactly how androids are really gonna be. They're not gonna be this advanced. It's like <laughs> you're gonna see an android doing this this number out here. To not locate trash can. I actually can't go to it. I'm tr I'm literally trying to go to it. It did it for like one second. Am I missing something? Oh Okay, we did it. I took out the trash. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Look at his poor daughter. She's hiding from him all the time. And what is he doing? Oh, he's doing okay, we can't show that. Oh, we even get to watch TV? How cool is that? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I hate I'll him so much. 
Can an android just watch a freaking nice game for once? Today's quote of the day goes to... Miki Doki! Hashtag Scrubification Squad. I've never heard that one. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Are you part of the Scrubification Squad? Be sure to hit that bell, guys. That way you get the notification. I really enjoyed this game. This game was very, very, like, just so intuitive. Maybe it's better for me, too, because I never played these kinds of games ever. I've just watched other people play them. But yeah, guys, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I would really like to make this a series and play more on my channel. But, you know, I only really can do that if you guys want to watch it. Because I don't want to make something that, you know, the majority of you guys don't want to watch. But this was intense, and I can just find myself talking about all, all sorts of like little things within the game, and uh, I think that would be a great uh, opportunity to interact with you guys as well. So hopefully you guys like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already to become part of the Salad Squad, and I'll see you scribes in the next one. Bye guys.